What's going on, everybody? This is 1920 Upper Deck Ice Hockey, eight box case break number five. Um, this is a random teams. First thing we need to do is, if you bought one of the first 20 spots, you're entered to win a free spot early bird. So we're gonna roll the dice for all three randomizers. First one will be the early bird after eight times. Here are the first 20. Nice. So prism will be coming up after this. Nice. Thanks, everybody. Six, seven. And eighth and final time, eight. Rick Thomas, Rick T, there you go. You are the early bird. Now we're going to go eight times on the list of um, Namios, customer names. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. Frank down to Sean. Now for the list of NHL teams. All teams in. Eight times. Remember, no veteran base card ship. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. The Boston Bruins down to the Nashville Predators. So here you go. Frank, you got the Bruins, Red Wings, Canucks. Elliot with the Blue Jackets. Steve with the Hurricanes. Frank with the Canadians. Sean with the Avalanche. Frank with the Blackhawks. Steve with the Maple Leafs. Moody with the Oilers and Rangers. Sean with the Sabres. Tyrone with the Senators. Uh, Natalino with the Ducks. Um, Frank with the Penguins, Scott with the Stars, Scott C with the Sharks, Rick Thomas, Early Bird Spot gets the New Jersey Devils. How about that? Natalina Wild, Rich Schmidt, Coyote, Steve, Flame, Scott C, Jets, Rich Flyers, Frank Blues, William Capitals, Josh Bruce Panthers, Frank Knights and Lightning, Rich Kings, Rick T. Islanders, Sean Predators. So there you go. Let me know if there's any trades. We're gonna pause the video. Um, first thing we actually have to do is roll the dice. Left, right, uh, left, right, left. One, two, three. Right, four, five, six. You can see Joe mark them. Ice R T to show they're from the same master case. Left side. So this will be break number nine, six. Posting that manana and later tonight. Doesn't look like any trades. Sorry, Frank. One of the leaps. Got some good teams though. Never know. All right, and Prism Baseball coming up next. We'll do the break credit at the, the Prism. And then, yeah, that'll be it for us tonight. But Joe will be back here tomorrow about 1 o'clock Pacific, 4 Eastern. Should have a few breaks posted. You know, no releases or anything crazy. So I'd like to do at least a Series 1 case or Series 2 case tomorrow. I'm sure that jumbo case will go. Maybe a mixer or something like that. Yeah, we'll have more clearly authentic tomorrow. Um, the same format, random team. Seems like people dig that. It is going up in price a little bit. Same with the finance. I think our next batch is up in price. Even a little bit more than what today's raises were. Um, so finest. We'll have more finest tomorrow. Just some nice fun breaks. Nothing too crazy. Cray cray. Watching this family feud knock off is terrible.
We didn't open any Series 2 today, Jeremy. That's kind of bummed. We don't have any picker teams up, though. Maybe I should have done a few picker teams, but... That random team will go tomorrow, though. Yeah, well, the thing about the Series 2 is, um, you know, a lot of that appeal is rookies that, you know, are starting to heat up. And obviously, we don't have that yet. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, I think we might have one tomorrow, Darren, sort of. I think we're, we're going to do maybe a little multi-sport mix. We haven't done one in a couple years. Three of 999, Victor Olofsson. A little uh, sneak peek for you there. For staying late. Whoa, this is weird. Ice Buckets, Rookie Autograph. Philippe Myers, 25 out of 199. Philadelphia Flyers on that one. That is Rich. With that? Yeah, it'd be multi sport, and then we have a um, graded card from football, basketball, and baseball. All in it. Uh, Casimir for the Maple Leafs to $12.99. But yeah, I do like the Series 2, so I'm sure we'll get a case or two done tomorrow. Uh, Teddy broke some, actually. I mean, we didn't break enough. Not enough, you know. Uh, to four ninety nine, Otto Kobula. Jonathan Taves, Cubic, I think they call it. And then we got a little Zach McEwen for the Canucks. Frank. So I saw the NHL. I was watching the NHL draft lottery. I was hoping the Kings got the first pick just for selfish card shop owner in Kings County reasons. But they got the number two pick. That was like a big leap for them. The number one pick is kind of crazy though. It could be like the Penguins I read. Or the Oilers. That'd be nuts for the hobby. Yeah, Kings got number two. And yeah, but that that one guy is the kind of the crown jewel, right? Alexis uh, Lafayette, something like that. Exquisite rookies, Felipe Myers, three ninety nine flyers. Yeah, Upper Deck was talking that guy up a lot, Alexis. Um, at the last conference, saying he's going to be very good for uh, the hobby. There's a 199. Nick Suzuki Auto went out to the uh, Montreal Canadiens. Frank, there you go. Yeah, and then some of the other big players are like that Rossi guy, right? Bunch of others. Antoine Wedden for four million dollars. Julian Gauthier to four ninety nine. Blake Lazzotti to nine ninety nine. And Tobias Bjornfoot for the Kings. Relic going out to Rich. Yeah, Penza Oilers could get the first pick. That'd be nuts, right? They could uh, make the playoffs and get the first pick. That'd be crazy, though, for the hobby. Two of the biggest fan bases there. But, I don't know. Personally, I'm rooting for maybe the Oilers just because I'd like to see McDavid get some you know, good players on his side. Yeah. Well, I don't like the NBA's new rule where they have all the, the worst three teams have all the same chance. I get it to prevent tanking, but sometimes teams are just bad even without tanking. So it penalizes those kind of teams. I mean, sometimes the team is just bad. Like, they don't even try to lose. They try to win. Like that Sixers a few years ago. Before that, I think the NBA lottery is fine. 
Yeah, or like I think the worst team, or what weren't the Knicks the worst team last year, and they got like the fifth pick, right, or fourth pick, no third pick, something like that. All right, there's Max Jones to three ninety nine. Third pick, they they chose Barrett. There's a Jesper Bakvis auto. Sub Zero auto. I haven't seen one of those. Not numbered, but nice. You mean every Fred, you think every team that like all thirty teams should have an equal chance? That'd be crazy. That'd be kinda of fun though. It's like the Lakers got um, Zion last year or something. Uh there's Rhett Gardner to nine ninety nine. There's Ilya Mikiev to 249, and a gold, number 24, Oliver Wallstrom for the Islanders, sub-zero gold. That is New York Islanders, Rick Thomas. And Leon Dreisaitl, we got a Nico Sturm. Ice premieres for the... Minnesota Wild, Natalino. Yeah, I feel bad for the crafty teams that like can't get any free agents and also then they never get the number one pick. That would be that would be really interesting though. You just have some dominant teams. If a team just went on a lottery streak. There'd definitely be like frozen ping pong balls in that one. I don't know how the NHL does it though. They don't show the ping pong balls, huh? I was watching the NHL draft coverage. And they don't show the ping pong balls, so they do it behind closed doors? That's kinda lame. I wanna see those ping pong balls bounce around like I'm in an actual state lottery. Matt Roy. I'll fix all that when I become the NHL commissioner. Rich with that. I have to go to school for law or something. There's Quinn Hughes to 299. Nice exquisite rookie. That's Vancouver. Frank. Well, yeah, you can see in the NBA now, you know, LA teams have an advantage. Miami, Texans, like the, you know, the Texas teams, Houston, San Antonio, those all have big uh, advantages. There's number 399, Felipe Myers. I feel like we've hit a ton of this guy. Flyers is rich, that one. Ice Premier's auto. There's Otto Leskinen to nine ninety nine. That's why I like the salary cap, especially in football, it keeps it, you know. Pretty good in NFL, like parody wise, there's always a new team popping up. Do you really play you pay every tax every state you play in? So how did the hockey do if they play in two countries? Or NBA against Toronto. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah. They always talk about how it's an advantage, but yeah, maybe... A big chunk of their salary goes to this the state they live in, and and then the rest, the away games or something. There's a uh, Vitali Abramov, number one ninety nine for the Ottawa Senators, Tyrone.
Jesper Bachvis to 999. We got a Ice Buckets auto, another Nick Suzuki auto. 37 of 99 for the Montreal Canadiens. That's going out to Frank. Get the Ice Bucket auto to 99. Matthew Oliver to twelve ninety nine and Carson Coleman to four ninety nine. Right, three boxes to go. Political. I think I, I saw every show did that though. I think they just had to they had to do it because every other show did. Once you see like South Park do it, then you're like, oh, yeah, I gotta do it. All right, next box. Elvis Merzlikens, Ruff, going out to the. Columbus Blue Jackets. Elliot. Um, Alexandre Teixeira to nine ninety nine. Say his name different every time. And ooh, some of the autograph faded. That's a bummer. That's an exquisite auto rookie. Twenty two out of twenty five for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Ilya Mikheyev. Mikheyev. Autograph is kind of faded though. Still a nice one though, Steve Birch with that. Yeah, I watched that Hank Azaria show, Brockmire. I wasn't too into it. It's about a guy announcing baseball. Nico Sturm for nine ninety nine. And Andrew Peak to four ninety nine. Two boxes left. Turn left. Turn left. Dude, I'm watching uh, Carlton's show. Are we gonna pop? See Lars pop up here. I heard that's good, Brad. I've never seen it though. Any FX show is like killer. You got Dave on there. That's a great show. Atlanta. Um, Teddy likes the show. What we do in the shadows, the vampire show. I've been trying to get into it. I can see how it's funny. It's just not my thing, maybe. All right. There's Brave Keeper Relic for the Florida Panthers. Tobias Bjornfoot to 149 and Leas Anderson. Lyce Anderson, exquisite rookie auto to 199 for the New York Rangers. What We Do in the Shadows was a movie. Uh, that's New York Rangers, we're not to Moody. There's autograph number to 399, Matt Roy. I just watched, I just finished Ozark a few weeks ago. That's a great show. Or 
it is a good show, I should say. I'm still going. No Gregor to nine ninety nine Sharks. And Klim Costine to two forty nine for the Blues. Oh, I've never seen the movie. That makes sense though. But yeah, the TV show seems pretty good. <laughs> I know, I was thinking that our neighbors probably think that we do what Oz what they do in Ozark. It is kind of, the Ozark is a little over the top. There's some good characters in it. Oh, I hate that episode. Don't even bring that up, guys. The Teddy Perkins episode. Um, the best episode for me was FUBU of Atlanta. I liked that one a lot. And I liked, um, I liked the BAM episode. The Michael Vick episode was good. When he races Michael Vick. There's some good ones in there. I don't like the Teddy Perkins episode, though. I'm not, I, I don't like horror. So that, that one totally freaked me out. There's Elias Pedersen. There is a Eric Brandstrom to 199, Ottawa. There's Philippe, uh, Philippe Zadina to 149. And there is Morgan Frost, exquisite rookie number 249 for the Flyers. The Flyers had a great break. Anthony Sorelli, number 299 for the Lightning. Brady Keeper to two sorry to twelve ninety nine for the Panthers. And last one here is Joey Dacord to four ninety nine for the Ottawa Senators. So there you go. That was the ice hockey break. Like I said, I'll have the third case in the store. Maybe do for a monster. Nothing too crazy in that one. But appreciate everyone getting in. Like I said, we'll have the next one in the store tonight and I'll be probably breaking Saturday or Sunday so there you go have a great night thanks everybody for tuning in see y'all tomorrow jazbeescasebreaks.com